and weave yarn like now it's going the tail because when you are finished you can turn inside out and you can go so you just kind of put a hook inside pull it's making a slip stitch okay it's making slip stitch in each side okay and it goes like a zigzag pull yarn through it just kind of make it all way slip stitch so in a in a set on the side pull yarn make a slip stitch go another one pull yarn through and making slip stitch and all the way up you're going And you know where is on the side when you are change your uh, that uh, your uh, rows yes on this one you can put in you see it's in here you're making slip stitch inside in here that way you can go all the way up. And hold your hook, but it's uncomfortable for you, okay? If you like do like this one, it's fine. If you like it to keep like this way, it's fine as well. It just kind of all the way. It just kind of... Remember when it's changing, yes. The colors. So you can kind of keep your track, okay? And it's go all the way slip stitch in each side, okay? One side, slip stitch in here. Another side, slip stitch. I go another side, you're making a slip stitch. You see, it's making like a zigzag. You see, it's making like a zigzag. And it goes all the way. It's just kind of like, you know, you can make it this way. Or you can do with a needle, okay? Just because when you do when you're doing with needle, remember to turn your work inside out, okay? But when you're doing it like an with zigzag like I do, so you can like no wrong side inside and right side outside. And you can go with the needle. It just kind of like no. For some people, find like no with e needle, it's easier. Then you don't have that. So I'm going all the way up in here. So when you are a crochet, yes, with a slip stitch all the way up. Remember when you are that your your chain like no your uh, connection with uh, another side if you're making like um uh, envelope so it's now we are coming for you see it's the last one of white. And in here, you just kind of like, you no, know, just remember to just kind of put all together. So just kind of keep, try keep yarn underneath, yes. So you, so this one in here, that one in here. Let's see. So, in here, I put inside in here, this one. And in here, you're almost working with the three layers. One layer up here. It's actually two layers. Because when you're doing uh, uh, with the... 
needle. It's like a sewing thing. You going through uh, three layers. Okay. Just kind of just kind of remember that. So in here I have two layers. One, two, and pulling through and making slip stitch. Going opposite side, one layer in here, making slip stitch. Now in here it's two layers. So one, two, just make sure you are picking up both layers. So you just kind of, you are, your work, it's kind of stays like, you know, it can be kind of a little bit awkward. If you're not used to, it's going to be really awkward, but it's worth it because like, you know, at the end of work, you are kind of like, you no, know, you are having nice, like a zigzag, like, you no, know, you see zigzag, like, you no, know, nice finish. So it's in here, my last, it's kind of finished in here. You see in here, it's just kind of like, you no, know, that side in here, it's kind of catch up with this one. Okay. So now it's, it's in a final line we are going in here. It's can be really tricky in here as well, you know, because you don't have that much space. It just kind of like, you know, it's can be kind of like, oh my God, how I can be get through. So, but it's can be easily done. in here so right in a corner in here we are now closing in so one and final in here so i'm pulling through and leave in here so you can put your yarn long enough and cut it and the tail you are pulling out and then you leave this one in here and you're taking needle and wean in your it's kind of putting inside and you are pulling out in here yes in the wrong side you try go like no more zigzag just kind of make sure your tail doesn't come out Because like no, when it's like no washing, when you are taking off from a pillow, uh, is that a cushion fat? Yes. So it's your yarn. It actually stays. And remember when you are starting, started this one in here. Yes. You're pulling out and wean in uh, that, uh, we need that uh, tail inside, okay? And as well, it's kind of go in a zigzag. Because when you are going zigzag few times, it just kind of helps that uh, sealed off your yarn. Just kind of when you're doing zigzag, try not to go too... Uh, don't catch another back like no and just kind of in the front in here yes and cut your tail and your pillowcase it's not pillow but a cushion it is done that far yes so then 
what's left in here just right in here you're just making two buttons you see the buttons in here so you just kind of and in here you see just kind of like now when I show you it's kind of it's in here on the right and on here you can make a button in here okay like in here so put button through so you can pick up in a, any how I actually do like this one like no so when you are doing like you no know, I try to do right on a top so I you can make a like you no know, slip knot and weave on a side yes then you are putting right where's green one, yes? You're making, like, no, you are putting inside. And try don't put too, like, no, hard, like, no. Don't make uh, yet so hard. Just make sure you are actually getting in. And then you're making, you see that uh, put inside in here? And pull it and you have put yarn all the way in here you see that makes sure you are just kind of like no double make double secure so so that's how I actually do then I actually cut my yarn and I actually making that like a not few times I just tied up and cut the nails tails then you're doing same side another one and right in here you just kind of like no remember this one here put in here and it just kind of stays in here. And then you're doing next one, okay? Hope it's help helps you. Bye.